Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Me Projects on Enough Time. I'm Andrew. And I think it's time to introduce the new truck to the fleet. So, uh, let's go take a look. Alrighty, probably gonna have a uh, little Timbit here um, yapping at me to throw his frisbee this morning. Fetch. Alright, so here it is ah! Land Rover 101. Ah! Good morning, Timbit. Yes, fetch. Thank you. So anyway, um, back, Oop. malfunction, but anyway, so uh, back before I started IV, I did have a, an option to purchase a 101, and uh, I kind of decided back then that I wanted to build IV from that chassis that I've been sitting at my friend's place there, uh, so I took that route, but um, back in the fall, um, I learned of, sorry, get the sun out of this here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I learned of uh, this one for sale, so I reached out, but unfortunately back in the fall, I wasn't able to uh, purchase it um, due to a promise to someone else who said they would purchase it. But this, um, this spring in February, I think it was, um, they reached back out and said, my turn to kick at the can. So I kicked the can and here it is after a couple of trips to Alberta to take a look at it and then go recover it. So let's take a look. It's a 1975 uh, GS101. Um, it's been here in Canada for I believe 25-ish years. Um, and I just have to get it to roadworthy now. And there's a bunch of stuff, uh, little little things. Little things to get ready for roadworthy because they're very tough on safety and stuff for that inspection. Um, so we're, uh, let me walk you through it and some of the stuff we've done. We've done full fluid changes and check the brakes and brakes are all looking good. And uh, let's take a look. Hi Timmy. Um, Alright. 75 GS 101. Uh, as you will notice the front has been done with checker plate. They've done a very nice job of uh, doing that. Um, but unfortunately, whoop, uh, it does look a little weird in check plate. Eventually, I will redo the front in non checker plate. Um, but for now, it works. And uh, there are some shiny bits because we have recently um, put a, uh, a bunch of stuff in through galvanizing, so I got some things re galvanized. Uh, we're going to come back to that right there. A few 101 people will recognize that as not original, but we'll come back to that. Um, I have been doing quite a bit of work on this already. Um, it does have the uh, 101 winch, which winches forwards and backwards as a PTO winch. And it's mostly pretty stock. It still has the original 3.5 liter V8. Um, we've got a new canvas top on it. Uh, which is awesome. I made up a little step because it was missing. License plate holder was missing. Um, so lots of lots of just little fiddly stuff uh, to get it ready for inspection. We had to put on these big reflectors. Hopefully we get through with them. Technically, I think they're supposed to be illuminated side lights. Even though you can see these from the side, I put these on as an extra safety measure uh, just to get through inspection. Um, yeah, overall she's in pretty good shape. Um, the couple of patches on the rear cross member have been done, other than that it's in uh, no rust anywhere else in the chassis that I've been able to find. It has the standard thick goopy stuff all over the chassis, which eventually will be scraped off and um, painted, painted better. And uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, 
Now it did have some weird aftermarket mirrors on it. We've gone back to original or close to factory original um, with the big big mirrors so we can see behind us. It is a little interesting to back up. And so we are in the middle of doing some stuff. I do have also have a uh, an overdrive for it to go in it eventually. And uh, the um, generator or alternator there was super noisy so I've uh, re managed to find and replace the front bearing in that which made it a lot quieter. Still a little noisy. I think I do have a spare second one which I will try and find somewhere to put in and get rebuilt with new front and rear bearings and that to make it even quieter but for now that will be acceptable. Um, so lots of little stuff. We put new boot on the handbrake there. Um, it has been converted uh, if you can see over there to a 12 volt distributor uh, from the 24 volt one. Uh, the fuel line is a little aftermarket with an aftermarket pump on there but we will go back to original on that eventually. Right now we just want to get it running and through safety and then I over the next bunch of years we'll tinker away at little things. As you can see there's some uh, bojangery going on in the driver's side and we'll get to that. Um, we got the most most important feature of all these days put in. We got the uh, cell phone mount figured out just with a magnetic base and so anyway let's go and see what we're doing on the other side there oh yeah so she came with uh, what looked like to be the original tires from 1975 on it originally um, I tried to find some XZLs the 916s but uh, due to Ukraine right now um, almost impossible to find 916 XZLs so uh, after doing a little bit of research I found out that Unimog 404 rims fit the bolt pattern and they're a 20 inch tall rim 9 inch wide and then my local uh, Unimog um, dealer repair guy um, had a bunch of those rims so I bought four of those rims and he also was able to supply me these Continental uh, medium truck tires 27580 R20s um, very nice looking tire and they're 37 inches tall so they fill everything out nicely but I think with and get me to the absolute limits of where I want it to be with tire size sorry about the traffic um, and they look good so we've got brand new tires to get through the inspection and um, they should work out well. All right, what's going on here? So, many of you uh, 101 experts and people who own 101s are probably thinking right now, hey Andrew, you're a big guy. How the hell do you think you're gonna fit in here? Because um, they're really, once the steering wheel's installed, there's not much room between the steering wheel and the uh, and the seat normally I think it was uh, 15 inches um, between the the front of the seat back to the steering wheel here and as I said I am a bit of a bigger guy and I wanted to fit in here so what I have done and I purists relax relax it's okay I have basically disassembled um, just like on the passenger side there the uh, seat back area here uh, disassembled that uh, drilling out all the rivets undoing all the bolts absolutely no butchery at all um, everything came out factory based and I've refabric cobbled um, the seat back to be back against this part of the bulkhead which was the back of where the seat was so I actually have about an extra four and three quarter inches depth further back uh, made this bracket up now I'm going to do a video um, next reassembling this and showing you how it all worked um, and there was absolutely no modifications cutting anything actually tell a lie 
there was one cut that I made to an original factory piece uh, which can be welded back on really easy but other than that everything all original can be bolted back in uh, with no problem at all so um, here's the roll bar hoop it's the only thing I had to do on that was as you can see down here there's a little return there but by moving the seat back back that would have been in the way so that was the only thing that got cut off other than that nothing has been modified or butchered except for that one thing which can be welded back on regalvanize the hoop no big deal the other modification I have done um, for safety is I've added these two tabs on the driver's side uh, for seat belt retractable seat belt mount, mounting location so I am adding retractable seat belts to the 101 um, and then on passenger side we got one just there so on the driver's side I did do two of them um, in case we revert back to original that's the best location for that but with the seat further back that's the best location with the seat further back so we are covered for retractable seat belts which just need a um, couple of extra brackets bolting into the original bolt holes just there Oop. so there we have it the Land Rover 101 GS been on my bucket list for a long time um, I have been kind of busy on this a little bit in between building cabins oh my god and everything else we do um, so my goal in the next week is to get it all back together and into inspection so I'm gonna um, end this video here there's the introduction and then I'm gonna film um, going through what I did to make that driver's seat um, have a lot more room by moving that bulkhead back because I'm sure some of you 101 owners might be interested in that um, that I can or you can or whoever can do it factory without really any modification except for that one tab cut off uh, which so it can be re-welded and uh, so thanks for coming along remember to like and subscribe uh, if you have any questions oh we don't have a name for uh, this beast I'm not really one for naming trucks even though we've got Ivy and then uh, Sweet Pea my wooden boat up at the lake um, but she was already named anyway we haven't got a name for it comment below what you think we should uh, call this uh, beast um, and uh, thanks very much